Hi everyone, so this is Tessa Nidanisa and for today's video, I'm going to share with you what I know about Pearson R. So Pearson R is a parametric test that is used to determine whether two variables have significant relationship with each other. So we have three types of correlation. So we have positive correlation, which means that when the first variable is increasing, you will expect that the second variable or its paired variable is also increasing. And if the first variable is decreasing, then you expect that the second variable is also decreasing. So when we have negative correlation, the first variable increases and the next variable or its paired variable decreases. So they have um, inverse, we can call it inverse relationship or the other one is increasing, the other one is decreasing. And the third one is zero correlation or they do not have any relationship at all. So in this example that we have, I have a set of scores. So I have reading scores and arithmetic scores. So for this, we are going to test whether these reading scores and arithmetic scores have relationship, if it's positive or negative, and if it is significant. So we can actually test out whether the data or the, the Pearson or the value of Pearson R or the R is significant or not so let's start to solve for that make sure that on your data tab you have the data analysis um, part here but if it is empty you can check out my other video on how to um, install this but not really install you just you are just going to insert a function here in your excel but it should be 2010 and above so if you have 2000 and above the next part of this video will explain to you how to use a social science um online calculator that i already have a video also with descriptive statistics now let's just click data analysis okay so make sure that um it will pop up a, vi uh, a window like this one and you look for correlation so we have a lot of choices here so you just click on correlation and it will give you another pop-up window which is you have input range so for the input range we are going to just drag or just highlight this part okay and check whether it entered here and you check the labels in first row because we wanted to have um, the labels in the first row uh, for the results okay so we can have let's check this output range and let's just have this one let me just click this and you enter e2 so the results of our Pearson R will be released there but if you wanted to have a new worksheet then just click work new worksheet if you wanted to have a new workbook then click new workbook then just click ok ok having trouble to offset input or output reference so let's ah ok so let's try it again so you have here ayan. ok so make sure that you check also the yeah the things that we have and this ah, ok so let me just move so that we can so this one so we have here the correlation between the reading scores and the arithmetic scores that we have oh i forgot this is arithmetic scores okay so let's just end it okay so we have your 0 0.09 technically this is 0 0.09 so if you're going to interpret that it's a very weak correlation so to report the correlation so in this one it's obviously it is not significant because there is a large value that we are going to compare with this one by the way in order to determine this um all this to determine the significance you can use a table of values for r okay, so i'm going to share it with you later but if you wanted to have a quick um interpretation just go on with this video and I'm going to teach you the use uh, t to teach you how to use the online calculator but this one if you're going to interpret it during your chapter 4 or in your chapter 4 you can have um, the relationship between reading and arithmetic scores is actually it's positively it's positive. There is positive 
weak or very weak actually this is very weak correlation okay when you have troubles in uh dealing with interpretation um there are already templates for this one so you can search over the internet how to do the cor the interpretation but if you want me to have a video for that just comment and i'll try my best to deal with it okay so now this one uh is 0 0.09 it's a very weak correlation it means that it doesn't matter what your scores in reading and arithmetic are because more likely it's near zero already and they tend this it this set of data is almost they do not have any correlation at all so this set of data it's not conclusive for everyone okay so it does in this data only now let's try to have or let's try the online calculator that we have okay so let's have this okay so we have here social science statistics so now we can go with the calculators then we will select later pearson r Okay, so there are a lot of uh, parametric and non-parametric testing. So let's have correlation or Pearson R. Let's look for that. Okay, so this is. So Pearson correlation coefficient calculator. You just click that. And, okay, so this is the formula. So take me to the calculator. And let's just paste the values that we have a while ago. So... Let me just paste it for you. So the x values are this one. So you can just copy and paste them. And just click calculate later. So let's have, okay, calculate R. Okay. Now we have here, we have the same value, right? So R, the value of R is 0 0.88 or 0 0.09. So, you can click this one on how to report Pearson R using APA. So, let's uh, check that later. So, we have here, this is the scatter plot. So, when you when we have scatter plot, you just um, plot points according to the X and Y values. So, as you can see, they, yeah, the values are really scattered and we have here so what's good with this calculator is it gives you the computation so you can check out the computation and okay so the value of r is 0 0.088 <coughs> excuse me although technically a positive correlation we you already have the interpretation here the relationship between your variables is weak the nearer the value is to zero the weaker the relationship okay so you can actually calculate for the p-value so for the p-value indicates the significance of the um or if it's significant or not so the factors that actually uh, affects whether the pearson r is significant or not is the number of sample or the sample size so take note that the higher the sample size the uh the more accurate your data will be so because when you have the sample in the population the bigger your sample is the closer it gets to the the characteristics of the population okay so let's go back to here how to report pearson r's apa oh let's try it again So, if you have troubles in reporting, you can just um, click this one. Okay, so let us check again. Okay, so now you have here. Okay, so you can have other examples. For example, yeah, you can just read this. The variables, shoe size and height found to be strongly, car um, strongly correlated. So, you have R. This is the sample size and you have 0.89. And you can have the p-value. Okay, so you can go back here. We can have, for example, this one. You can just click here to calculate a p-value. Then you can have here R-score. The R-score is 0 0.088 and your sample size is 29. Okay, and calculate. Then the p-value is... Yeah, 0.649. The result is not, not significant 
in P less than 0 0.05. So you can just um, take this one and you copy the template here. So you can always copy the template. Um, so this is a very good calculator because it can help you um, write your chapter 4. So you can uh, you can less you, you can decrease the trouble in looking for good templates because this one is a very good calculator. Okay, so I think that's it for Pearson R and I hope that you learned something. And if you still have troubles, you can just comment your questions down below and I'll try to respond to them as quickly as possible. So this is Dasi Dalisa and I'll just see you on the next video. Bye.